remember something you never knew? Will the living statue profession ever recover? Should all racists be put in boxes? Can statues swim? Like many people in recent weeks, I've realised that statues mean so much more to me than they ever did before. Some might say this is a distraction from the real issues, and they're right. Favourite statue? Favourite statue? Favourite statue? And Nelson's column. Nelson's column, so Nelson is your favourite statue? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Okay. What other statues do you like? To be honest, I don't know enough about statues to, to be able to tell you what ones I like, really. Oh, OK. I don't really know that many statues. Um, that one in New York, I guess. Peter Pan one, famous Peter Pan one. The Little Mermaid one in Denmark, is it? There you go. So kind of fictional characters. Yes, that's the, where my interests mainly lie when it comes to statues, yeah. Favourite statue to poo on? No. What do statues mean to you? They are fantastic things. Uh, and the plinth in Trafalgar Square, it's also a way to think about statue and sculpture as inspirational. Do you know who Robert Jeffrey is? I do not. So that's Robert Jeffrey, a statue just right there. Jeffrey Museum, yeah. The Jeffrey okay, Museum, okay. yeah. How much do you know about Robert Jeffrey? Not much, except no. that he was a philanthropist. Yes, he was a philanthropist but he also had links to the slave trade. Okay, I didn't so, know that. Do you know who that is? I have no idea, who is that? It's Robert Clive. He looted India for most of its riches. Like when you say it like that, why is there a statue for him there? Do you think statues are important? I think it's a good idea. It's, it's, if someone's done something for the country, it should be recognised. How much do you know about Winston Churchill? Obviously I'm standing right next to him, but yeah, generally he's perceived as a national hero and quite rightly. If you were to do a quiz on Winston Churchill, how many answers do you think you'd get right out of five? Depends how difficult it was. Do you know when Winston Churchill became Prime Minister? Yeah, I'd, I'd say I'd get zero. If it was questions with that detail, I'd probably get zero. Did you see Darkest Hour, the, the Churchill film? Yeah, I did, yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, it was good, yeah. yeah. It was good, yeah. yeah. It's asleep. It seems as if most people don't actually know anything about statues. Who the people are, what they do, why they're still there. Surely there must be a statue that people know something about. How much do you know about Paddington Bear? Uh, I've read the books, I've seen films one and two, and uh, I know that he has a permanent spot here. Do you know what food he likes? Well, he likes sandwiches with marmalades. What do you know about Paddington Bear? Paddington Bear? I watched, um, I watched a movie about it. I think it was based on this, but... Yeah, well, pan, the panda and bear and Jill and whatnot. What was the name of the family who um, took him in? Mr and Mrs Brown. Mm -hmm. And do you think he deserves to have a statue here? Definitely, he's really famous and popular. Would you like a statue of yourself? I would not like to be that famous. I'd rather keep myself to myself. Are you the lions from the football shirts? Do you think anyone deserves a statue that hasn't got one? There's a lot of, obviously, People that have helped the world, people like Martin Luther King, people that are maybe more worthy of statues. Statues for me aren't something that's completely positive. Instead of having statues of people, which I think is just an unhealthy obsession, it's idolising, we should have sculptures of events that have shaped our history. So, for example, well, there shouldn't have been a statue for Winston Churchill after we won World War II because it wasn't just Winston Churchill that won the war. It was many people that passed away that, that helped us win the war. It was the people that created the Enigma machine, you know, it was, it was Alan Shearing. It was not just Winston Churchill, but there's no statues of every single person that died. Winston Churchill didn't die during World War II fighting, you know, for the country. Uh, he was sitting at home getting drunk. I'd say that there should definitely be like a statue or memorial to a lot of people who've been killed unjustly. Um, 
uh, for example, like George Floyd, Breonna Taylor. I think statues are probably better placed in a museum, for example, where people go to learn about history. Whereas this statue here, people just walk past it every day. Like, I don't know what that statue signifies at all, but I, I, I can imagine a lot of people feel quite negatively towards that statue because of what that man did, do you know what I mean? whatever his name is, Havelock Allen. He was a general of Lucknow in India. A terrible person, but his statue's right there. Like, I don't understand. I mean, he, he treated so many people like slaves, my people like slaves, and, and there's a statue from there, and I'm just like, I don't understand. So how do you feel now when you walk past Robert Jeffrey? Do you feel anything different now knowing the crimes he's committed? Push him somewhere else, because that's a nice space. I mean, we picnic in there sometimes and stuff, so I don't think I want to be aware of being in his shadow. Yeah, especially when you're having a picnic. Should have brought my ladder. Do you think that um, British history needs to be more representative? Uh, I believe so, yeah. I, I think some of the problems is people not getting educated in schools enough about history and with black history at the minute so I feel like it's important to learn it in school even though I said I don't, I don't remember much of my history lessons but if it was a bit more about black history being half black myself would have definitely uh, took more not, not took more attention to it but it would have been more of a meaningful lesson. I learned a lot about the, the monarchs uh, like the Tudors. Were you taught in school about the realities of Britain's racist past? I live it. I live it. I've been taught it. I suppose um, I'm lucky enough to have a family that I educated in those histories. So we talk about it as a family, we talk about it as a society. No, you don't get taught them in school. Each country has accomplished these things on the backs of brown people and their work. And you can't really celebrate those things without realizing and thinking about those people and what they sacrificed against their will. So how much do you know about statues? In London, quite a bit. I know an awful lot about statues. I'm in a tremendous minority, and I said I would like to write a book about it, actually. But they're representative of our history, and incredibly important that we have them and memorise the contribution that they've made. What about um, people who would say that taking down statues is erasing history? That's insane. Like, I can understand, like, burning every library as well. Like, that is actually erasing history. Taking down, if you're getting all of your history from a statue, you need to start looking in other places for your history, I think. If, if there was um, a democratic decision to remove them, then fair enough. You know, I'd walk past statues without really thinking about it. Who do you think deserves a statue? <laughs> Maybe me. <laughs> Would you guys want to have statues of yourself? No. No. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Would you like a statue of yourself? Would I like one? Yeah. Yeah, definitely, of course. What pose would you do? Uh, I think this one. So do people know who all these statues are of? Not really. And if we've learned anything, it's that there's a lot more to learn. So statues, yes or no? Um, I, I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. I don't think that's what's important. Statue is not important. To me, humanity is important. The statues are there as symbols. What can they do? It's, it's history that's been, that's, that's passed. What we need, look forward to creating a better world. We cannot dwell on the statues.